Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's Nightcap, I've got quite a lot of video uh, to show you. I do a little bit more work on the well positioner and I also make a start again on this little vertical, well, this big vertical steam engine. Um, I was looking at it and I thought it's time I got my finger out and got some work done. So I did quite a bit on that. We've had some real bad weather here in the UK which prevented us from getting into work. Well, it didn't prevent me from getting into work. It prevented customers from getting their cars into the garage. So I've had a couple of days off, which I've spent basically in the shop here, in another shop, doing a little bit of video on that Artec plasma table. Debs is at work, so it took to me to do the draw for last week's fries, which I'm going to do, I'm going to do now. Right, there's a one. Chris Merrifield. Right, there you go, Chris. All you've got to do is send me an email with your address and I'll get them posted off to you straight away. I'm going to do another draw this week. And this time it's for a nice little scriber in a Moran Ray depth gauge. This Moran Ray depth gauge is real old, um, nice quality item. The blade's actually broken, but it's still perfectly usable. I've got a one very similar that I do use all the time. If you want a chance at winning these, all you have to do is send me an email with your, your full name, like John Mills instead of John, and that's my email up there. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. It's just a little way of saying thanks very much for all the, the help and support I've had. Um, I've got quite a lot of items coming in. People are sending items in purely and simply to, to put away in the giveaway. Um, you know, you can, only, you can only keep so much stuff. It's pointless having a, a drawer full of these and a drawer full of them when I can give them away and somebody else can get some, some benefit from them. I need a pin to go through the, the pulley and some little spaces. I'm going to use a brass pin uh, because this doesn't move very much and it's actually a little wagon in a miserable environment and I don't want it to season up. So I'm going to make a brass pin. I'm pretty not sure what. I'm pretty sure that's what was originally on the wagon. Bollocks. It's cool, I've just started it up so I'll just run it. Slow for a minute or two just to get the oil around the head stuff, it won't do any harm at all. It's actually 10 mil. This is 12. With two wheels taken off it. Here more. It wants to be a, a reasonable fit but not too tight. It does need to get some grease in between it. Okay, 
it'll have some nice tight fit in there and it'll be a, a loose fit on the pulley or loose edge, that's just what I need. Need a little bit longer. Oh, you quite might, might, might some make a lot like that, John. on the split pins. I've got this lovely old box of split pins. I don't know where they come from. Somebody gives them or they come from a car boot sale. But if you look at them, the shape are actually a better shape than modern split pins. Are you sad when you're thinking about what shape split pin you're going to use? But they are, they've got nice and nicely formed. I think we'll use, we'll use that one that looks about right, I need to find a drill. Right, I found a suitable drill. Ball method again. That looks good. Need to run this nice and fast. Time to put it together. Pin goes in with a washer. I'm going to use what they call CV joint increase. It's what they use on car drive shafts. It's good stuff. It doesn't it doesn't wash off. It really is nice stuff. I quite like repairing parts like this because this has got a fair chance of lasting for a long time. It's not going to get scrapped or cut up. 
not like the throwaway world that I, I work in of motor cars. This will be going to probably outlast me. Which I'm going to line the hole up with. Come on, John. Don't even do it, son. There you go. That's gorgeous, that. Beautiful. I don't like to see split pins put in properly as well with nice sharp edges just sort of catch your fingers right, that's all you need, one leg bent over like that not going nowhere so I don't know the next person to strip and refill this anyway go for another 100 years I want to do a little bit of wiring, the wiring to control that weld rotator. I was going to build a switch to turn it on and off, but I found this on eBay, brand new, and I think it was less than ten pound delivered. I mean, I don't honestly know how you can import one of these and then sell it for a tenner delivered and make money. It's, I mean, it's it's not rubbish, but it's not exactly. Wonderful stuff, but it is metal, die cast aluminium. Put a rating on it 15 amp, 240 volt. Now put the wire on it, come, come with the wire. And inside, you can see, there's a nice heavy duty switch. I had to adjust it so it actually work, but it's, there's even a little roll on the end of there. Anyway, that'll do to turn the rotate on and off. The wire I'm using, it come off some, some hand lamps at work that were scrapped. It's got a lot of rubber in it, it's not plastic, so it's, it's nice and flexible. It stays flexible even at cool temperatures. So a nice job is trying to get some wiring done. All the connectors that go into the actual speed controller are just pushing right them little terminals and tighten down. I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on them just to make it a little bit better, a little bit more secure. They're the batteries we're using 18, 18 volt uh, DeWalt lithium batteries. I choose the two outer contacts. I might make a, an adapter for the battery to slide into instead of just pushing wires into there. I'm certainly going to put a fuse straight onto the battery because it can draw a lot of current out of one of these and we don't want to do any damage. I'm putting the switch on the battery side 
if the control as opposed to the output side just break the live feed with the, with the foot pedal switch and so I'll just go in there tightens in and that'll be a nice secure which it is so that's the, the live then we need to bridge that out neutral back in I like using this shrink wrap sleeving. It certainly makes a nice secure secure job of a solder joint. Better than insulating tape. Move <laughs> longer wire on the solder nail. Oh god. I don't think the solar is environmentally friendly because it works too well. Right, so that's nicely solar under there. You can use a light or you can use the the aim to shrink the shrink it's clever stuff. Right, so that's now going to be the live from the battery and this one here is a neutral from the battery then neither two they will go to your motor live and neutral doesn't matter which way you put them Reverses the direction of the motor. Right. Put some cutouts in there, and all those wires will live inside there. I might get a better box for it, I'm not quite sure yet. I might make a, a metal box for it. Um, I've got to be careful because obviously all that's, that's alive and anything, that's the circuit board. This was very cheap as well, eBay. Right, so that's the control box, basically the wires into there, and we'll hook it up and give it a, a dummy run. Right, I've got it temporarily hooked up, so it works off the, off the pedal, and obviously you can turn the speed right down. It's hardly moving, so you can inch it. As you're welding. I was going to have it reversing, but I don't think it needs to, needs to go backwards. Obviously that's work with your, with your foot, so you've got one foot on the, the tape head and one foot on that. That's pretty slow, that's certainly slow enough for a TIG weld. I think it's only fair that I should put a bit of, a bit of bar in there and just do a run a weld around it. 
you see me actually what is going to function as intended. Right, I've got a bit of aluminium set up. Um, I'll have a brute just going the, the weld on the outside. That's just to rest your hand on. You've got to rest your hand when you take weld, at least it, it's much easier to rest your hand when you're comfortable. So I've got one pedal that works to take set and one pedal that makes that go around a little bit faster possibly. Right, let's strike up and see what happens. Copper is not nice stuff to machine, it's bollocks. Copper's not nice stuff. Copper is not nice stuff. What the f is the matter? Bastard. <laughs> 